All right, so what if you want to share with people a specific section of a YouTube video, uh, whether it's your own video or someone else's video, and instead of just sending them the entire YouTube video and they have to look for that section, you could just share, share a link that goes directly to that particular section. So let me show you how I would do that. I'm gonna share my screen with you. I'm gonna show you how to do this with any YouTube video. And of course you can do this with your own video as well. So here's my screen. And let's say I wanted to share one part of this. Uh, well, let's say one part of this video. So um, uh, I've got the volume turned off so you don't, you don't hear any sound right now. Um, but let's say that I am at this part of the video, okay? And I wanted to share that particular part. So like starting at 320. So let me go back to 320 again, quickly pause it, okay? Scroll down, click on the share button, okay? Share button underneath the video. I'm at that section of the video already, right? I, I click share. And now I can click on the checkbox on the bottom. That's a start at 321. Now, if I wanted to say start at 320, I just simply edit this and put 320 instead. And this will automatically give me a link that goes to that exact section of the video. I'm gonna click, go ahead and click on copy. And um, I've got some people who are here with me, some, some uh, people who, uh, clients who might have any questions, but um, so that's uh, that. And then if I wanted to actually give a, a bunch of timestamps, now Ted probably doesn't do that, but I have some, some of my course videos that have a bunch of timestamps uh, associated with it. And uh, let me see if I can show you an exact example of it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, uh, for example, my recent uh, net caring course. Um, I'm just going to do net caring part one. Whoops, net caring part one. Let me go there and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. So, um, you know, if I scroll down, uh, you can see that I've got the timestamps all in here. And I, you know, uh, what I simply did was, uh, well, this is a little bit of a different technique. You can simply put the exact time, like three dot two, three colon two four, and and if you put that in the description of the video and save that description, it'll automatically turn into timestamps in the description. People, when they watch this, they'll be able to click on it and go directly to that section of the video. So that's how you either want to share a timestamp link somewhere on social media or in an email or whatever, or if you want to do that description. Uh, you just write it into a description directly and it'll YouTube will automatically timestamp it. So let me know if that helps. Are there any questions from anybody here? Um, uh, no? Okay, Chris, go ahead. Yes, please. Unmute. Uh, how did you um, how did you get the second timestamp in there? Oh yeah, right. So so I'll, I'll show you again. The second timestamp, I simply and I'm, when I'm editing the video description, uh, I simply do that, as you can see. So I simply type something. If I type 333, blah, 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 I'll show you. Um, I just do that. I click on save for, uh, save is somewhere up here. Let me make sure everybody can see that. Save up here. And then when I go back to the video itself and I look underneath the video, uh, you can see that it automatically became a timestamp. No, I mean- sense? No, I mean the second one in the series to, to show the span of the time of oh, that. Oh, I like, just simply tick, I just typed dash and, and put another time. That's, okay. Yeah, that's just what I did. Um, so you did that manually. Say it again. You, so you, you, you checked where it ended manually. Yeah, I just manually that. checked where it ended and I, and I okay. put it there. And the reason I did that is because in the future, if I wanted to send this to a fiver to chop it up into small segments, there, there it is already. Um, and the other, the other thing, this technique works also as, as, as comment. You can do this in a comment too. I did this in a, as a comment as well. Um, you know, again, I can simply type, uh, you know, three dot, five, five or whatever and blah, 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 click comment. And it automatically turns into, uh, if I refresh this and actually see the comment, uh, if I look at the comment itself, see the second comment, 3.55, people can click on that and go directly to the 3.55 section of the video. You can do this with anybody's YouTube video. It's not just, you know, in, it's in terms of a comment with a timestamp, any, any YouTube video on the internet, you can do that with. I'm gonna delete this so that um, I don't confuse anybody. Um, so yes, is that clear? Any other questions before we uh, finish this little tutorial? Okay, so that 
is it. Thanks everybody. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And thanks for those of you who are here um, helping me make this. <laughs>